I guess that cake really tastes amazing. Katlejo, please just make sure to save some for us. And, you know, I don't know if you saw, but Liesl actually wanted a bite from you to, to feed, but you was like, no, just, just note, man, just leave us some cake. Anyways. Oh, all the cake from him. Wow. Liesl, this is how it's done. Great stuff. Thank you very much. Alan, I'll okay. share this with you. No, they look after you. I'll I share this with that. you. But first up, we are talking some popular mechanics this morning. <laughs> Latest invention. Also, inventions that stood the test of time. And Alan from Popular Mechanics told us a little bit about one of those inventions. It's called Velcro. And I mean, it's widely used today. It came, it came ages already. But on another note, the uh, Consumer Electronics Show took place last week in Las Vegas. It was a massive thing. And our own, very own, Alan Duggan was there to experience it. Wow. Alan, dude, um, so many people are envious of you being there because it's massive. Well, um, I, in my article, I call it uh, a, a huge and entertaining madhouse, and that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And I add the word exhausting. <laughs> exhausting. It's, it's, it's vast, an utterly vast event, um, uh, filling and overfilling the, the cavernous Las Vegas Convention Center and two or three of the biggest hotels yeah. uh, in Las Vegas. 150,000 delegates. Um, I think over 3,000 exhibitors, and it's a trade show, which is interesting. Yeah. The public are not invited. It's, people go there to do business with other people wow. and, and launch products. I think uh, a couple of thousand, 20,000 yeah. uh, new products were launched at CES. I had a wonderful time. No sure. time to gamble. Uh, I'm sure you know time to gamble. You no. also said that you almost got blisters on your feet from walking Not around. Not almost, <laughs> blisters on both feet. You did get blisters on your feet. I spent an entire week walking between wow. the aisles, determined not to miss anything. Mm, and nice. inevitably, I did. But I saw some truly yeah. amazing stuff. Nice. Now, now, during the week, we had our gamer guy, Grant Hines, and he was also talking a bit about the CES. He wasn't there, though. Um, and he told us about the latest in gaming and screen technology. But, I mean, that wasn't the only things that were there. What, what else no, no. were there? Um, it encompassed just about everything that you can think of in the realm of consumer tech. Yeah. Um, televisions, vast uh, TV sets in a vast space. Mm. Every conceivable type of television you can think of. One major brand, for example, has produced large screen televisions with a, a depth of, the, I would say, a window pane. Yeah. So you stand sideways on and you could easily miss it. Fabulous really? quality. Um, touch screens. The, the big news, I think, from CES is that mobile is taking over the world. Yeah. They're absolutely taking over the world. Um, one, I think the uh, revenue from wireless mobile last year was 1.3 trillion, which is about one third the size of US national That's debt. That's crazy. Which is very substantial, and yeah. one million apps and climbing exponentially. Yeah. So it's uh, definitely it's, taking mobile over. is a big deal. It's ubiquitous. We all have cell phones. We all have them yeah. everywhere we go. And the, um, a, a big uh, US com tech company named Qualcomm Mm. Um, was there, had a big presence, and their chairman and CEO, uh, Paul Jacobs, said in a keynote that the average uh, mobile user looks at his or her cell phone mm. 150 times a day. Mm. Uh, that's serious yeah. connection. It's true. I mean, if you're just going to take the time to realize how much you look at your phone. Mm. Anyways, Alan, what stood out for you? I mean, what, when you were there walking around, was there an invention that you thought, mm. oh my word, it's blowing my hair back right now? Um, I think the, the, the robots were very cool. The robots did um, strange and inexplicable things. Yeah. Um, some people don't really see the need or use for robots. I certainly do. Yeah. They are, uh, uh, robots uh, are part of the future. But I think the biggest thing for me is probably uh, television sets and wireless television and television sets w with which you can engage yeah. and operate all the systems in your house. Yeah, hectic. Alan, thank you so much, man. We are going to be talking to you a little bit later on once again about gadgets. And I would love to know if any of you were so fortunate to be at the CES, please let us know. I mean, that must be an amazing, an amazing opportunity. So let us know on our Facebook, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. But right now, we are going to cross over to probably a, a girl with one of the best voices, I would say, in South Africa, Natasha Meister. We are so, so fortunate to have her here. Kat, take it away. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.